Vicky Bunny and today I am going to do a video talking about the Amazon returns store and I love the Amazon return store anyways before I get on to that I wanted to talk about this hair and look how cute this hair looks it's actually a wig and it really combs really nicely I know it's a wig so yeah I kind of like curled it you can see it kind of did some curls using water hot water and it turned into these really nice curls or waves or whatever it is but yeah it looks really real and natural so I'm really proud of that how that looks anyways it's so hot and recording this is I think I'm dying because I'm wearing a wig in this warm outfit but anyways, I wanted to talk about this Amazon return store and then I actually went shopping in the Amazon return store and I found some really cool stuff and I wanted to tell you guys how I got it for free and I got free stuff that day when I visited. How crazy is that? So there's this Amazon return store that I would visit a lot in the past and I actually been going for a very long time already. I think for like months and I actually heard it on the news that said like oh this is a really cool Amazon return store and it popped off. A lot of people came to visit and it got viral. So I would start going and I started going when it started to open. Um, not the very opening day, but I just started going and I found really cool stuff. And I met the owner, the previous owner, the, the first owner that owned or whatever managed that Amazon return store. And at first he seemed nice because he would give me discounts, but he was pretty rude he, uh, later when I would visit. I just, I just noticed he would um, yell at the customers and like he would assume that they would steal stuff and the boxes and everything like that and I just didn't like how he treated the customers it just seemed very uncomfortable for me and I remember he would kind of like yell at the customers sometimes in a rude manner and there would just be a lot of times when I would like purchase stuff he would just act really like unhappy and rude and I just I didn't feel comfortable with that at all and I remember one time I was purchasing um, a few items and I went on the counter and I encountered the guy. I don't know what was his problem, but he had this immense negative energy and he just kind of looked at me and he's like, are you gonna purchase that? And it's just like such a rude way of talking to me. He was just talking to me in such a rude way that it made me feel so uncomfortable and humiliated in front of people that I just ran to my car and started crying. It was just disgusting and then I stopped going to shop at the Amazon return store until later I found out that the owner I guess got kicked out I don't know how he got kicked out <laughs> thank goodness he got his karma but a new owner started to take place and I was just like I had no idea until I visited after two to three months later there was a new owner and I came back I was like oh wow this store it looks really nice they keep it really organized they have a lot of cool stuff still and i just can see that they do a lot of effort of making the clothing area really nice with nice decoration or at least better you know it's in a warehouse but they try to make it look better the clothes that hang on the wall i really liked that it was just super organized and the makeup area the bathing area everything like that was really nice and also really organized and I came back a few times. I came back because I really love shopping at Amazon Return Turn Store because I love finding finds and I love finding finds that kind of like are convenient to my life to make my life a lot more easier. So that's why I like coming back. I don't know, I'm just having this. It's not a bad addiction. I think it's like, it's just nice to look around, you know? I met the owner again. And the owner was such in a good mood, he's such a really nice guy and asked me if I could make videos for the store and market the store with some videos, review products, and then send it over to him. And I was like, oh yeah, like I can totally do that. And he said, and for exchange, I can get like free stuff or discounted items. And I was like, no way. That day when I confirmed that I was gonna make these reviews and post it or whatever, um, he gave me free stuff stuff and I was like oh this is amazing this is like free stuff that I could use for 
for my vlogs or you know videos and fun stuff like that and I got to do a little video in the store I got to do like a quick video wearing like a jacket where it was originally $38 and that day it was only like $2.99 for all the clothing and like very high quality jackets there and it was nice it was like a little short video that me and the owner recorded yeah for that for an exchange of free stuff so it was the most awesome day so he let me pick stuff from the store that i could get for free that very day and um he said i could look over at the the ba bathing or like makeup area the hair products the bathe stuff and i just looked over and i just found a few things i i didn't get a lot of things because i just i just didn't want to you know over get too many free stuff because i know it's free but i didn't want to overdo it but i got like a few like um i got a brush or i'll like, i'll tell i'll show you guys double checked i actually stood in front of the counter to ju just in case if because i got like these extra stuff that he said i go oh, you could get free but i wanted to make sure if it was like free and he said it was fine i was like oh I got free stuff. By the way, if you guys don't know this place, it's called Salinas Liquidators. It's in California, it's in the Central Coast, and you guys probably haven't been to it yet, or don't even know what the heck is this area. It is in that particular area, and I recommend to go check it out because there's just tons of like cool things. Like sometimes you can even find Apple products. It's amazing. It Apple products, like electronics that still work. Sometimes they don't, but don't be afraid to like purchase some things because it's only like cheap along the week. It gets cheaper, like $12, $10. And when it gets to Friday, I think, oh no, to Friday, to Thursday, it becomes like the cheapest day. Friday is their restock day. But anyways, yeah, I got free stuff and now I could get discounted items as long as I review stuff. Review stuff and send it over to the store manager. So that is great. Um, but yeah, Amazon return store is something I'm very addicted. I love seeing stuff that you could just get for cheaper. It's it's amazing. Anyways, I wanted to get on into this video because I wanted to actually show you the stuff that I got for free. <coughs> Okay, Ooh, it's like the sun is crazy back here, by the way. That is, oh. Okay, <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to show you the stuff that I got for free. I'm definitely gonna come back because that is just part of content because I will continue making vlog content, short reels or something like that because I love doing this and I hope this guy's kind of like inspires you to go and shop at like really cool cheap places that you can get deals on. But yeah, I'm supposed to show you the products that I got. Before I get to the items that I got, I shop in the Amazon return store and I recorded it and today was the cheapest day and it was $2 day. Day, and I found these really cool items the first time I came in. The cheapest day doesn't have a lot of stuff, but there's a lot of cool knickknacks just like this iPad cover, and then this one pair of shoe that looks really, really cute, and then two pair of shoes that I thought was super cute as well, and a really cool compartment that I found that looks really cool to organize with. This was a controller that I found that functions... And there's this really cool iPad keyboard that I really liked. And then there was this tubular PVC leather dress. And this is one of my favorite finds that I found today. It was a really cool skirt that had changeable lights on it. And you can see in this video, you can change the features or you can change the lights to change. And it was just so, so cool to see. I didn't get it though. A cute lacy purple pastel dress that I saw. And then there was this really cool 80s styled overall outfit. It just looked so cool like the 80s. This looks really cool high quality gloves. I found this really grungy cool corset that was brown that had velcro on it and I got it because it was so cool so I got it. This was a really cute pair of shoes that I saw and it had glitter and jewels on it so it was very unique. I didn't get it because it wasn't my size. Okay, so this is one of the items that I got 
one of those wireless wireless Bluetooth keyboards. I haven't tried it yet, but I know it works because it had an on button and it glowed. So I know if I try, it will work. And I've tried a lot of the electronics before when I bought uh, stuff from there and it ended up working, which I'm very happy about. Let's check it out. It's really cool. It's this cool little keyboard and I have an iPad so I could put it on my iPad or cell phone or laptop, I guess, laptop. Yeah, it has like a touch board. I guess it's the touch board. Holy cow. That's really cool for a little keyboard. But I really like that it has a USB-C charger. I don't like, you know, battery. I don't like to replace batteries. It's just a mess. So having a USB charging keyboard is super convenient for me. It didn't come with this little teeny stand, but I didn't care because I already had like a stand for my iPad. So this wasn't much of a problem for me. I didn't care much about that. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Let me scooch this back a little bit. Yeah, it's a little messy because when you shop at the Amazon return store, you get all this messy stuff, but I got this cute fanny pack. And it's a fanny pack that is holographic or iridescent color. And it's, it's a little messed up, but I got it for free. I really liked it. Um, you can see there's like a little crack. It was probably used and it got returned. I don't know how it got returned, but I like to go to raves and festivals and I think this would look cute. I don't mind the little scratches. They're, they're, you can't even see it. Like, and it's free. So it's a deal, you know? I, don't, I didn't care. It has a two zip thing, which is really secure. Nice. Now that I realize that's really secure. You can open it. I have stuff inside. I'll show you later because I got extra stuff. And then you got a little other pocket in here. Oh, this is rave ready fanny pack. Uh, this was a little, this is a cute little makeup brush that I got. And I got this because I thought, dang, like this is so high quality. It doesn't make my skin itch. I already like placed it along my skin and it doesn't have that irritated feeling. So I got it because I was like, wow, this is very high quality. You'll find a lot of high quality stuff at the Amazon store. And it's just like, it's like I'm shopping at an Ulta. Like seriously, it's amazeballs. Then I got um, some hair clips. I really needed some hair clips because I do a lot of stuff with hair. I need to split hair sometimes. So I got these hair clips that are still intact and it was still tied up. You can see the fastening tighters things. Yeah, it's it was brand new. <laughs> It's so cool. I, I just want it, you know, so I could split the hairs, like maybe for my wig stuff, my cosplay wigs, or it was just a need. I definitely needed this. So I don't just buy things randomly just to keep in the house and hoard. I actually like to shop more of things that I need or like, let's say for clothing, I would need a variety of clothing for like content. So that's something I need not just to keep stuff to hoard. Um, this was a really cool find. I, oh shoot, okay, the, well the zip is a little weird. Yeah, it doesn't zip all the way, unfortunately, but that's okay. Yeah, it, the zip is kind of broken. I don't care about that, but what is inside here, it's, it wasn't the case that I wanted. Let me show you. Nip pads, nip pads. There was a ton inside. Look at these nip pads. I needed nip pads and it was just a generous amount of nip pads, nipple pads. Two, four, six, eight, ten pairs. Ten of these, I mean, all together. It wasn't ten pairs, <laughs> but ten nipple pads. But yeah, I don't know if you, you're you like me, but if you just want to go without a bra or you just want to be fashionable and you need to just like cover just the nips so you don't expose them too much in your outfit, especially for like your prom dress, if you go in a formal cute dress or an outfit or like cosplay, this is gonna help you. Y'all yeah, gotta get these. <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> I actually had another wig like this that I got at the Amazon return store and I happened to find another one just like this. And what I'm gonna do is it is I'm probably gonna style the, the same, the other pair that's just like this and style it or something or use the same color to like style the wig. I get cosplay wigs sometimes at the Amazon return store. So yeah, I got this for free. Oh my gosh, imagine getting like free cosplay stuff. Isn't that great? I'll comb this, but yeah, you can see it's like, you can definitely comb this, this is combable. So don't you worry about that. And then I got, oh, my eye. I love wearing corsets, by the way. So this was an awesome find. 
like I love corsets. I love Renaissance fashion. And this is so cute. And not only that, it was Velcro. Look at this. It's a Velcro top. And I'm definitely gonna wear this in some outfits or something really cute. I love it. This is one of my favorite finds and it was just brown. It's not black. It, I think you can see the, like, the little brown color. I love wearing corsets because it really adds my fashion to like look very unique and different. So this... Usually I would buy these for like $8 on AliExpress or something like that. But I got this for free. I actually just used this. This is a moisturizing lotion for dry hair and scalp so I have a really big issue with dry scalp and I really needed something to really moisturize my dry scalp or like stop from itching or having these like this dandruff and this actually made my hair feel soft but not only that my scalp feels soft after I just used this and I just used it like last night when I took a shower but this was a really cool try I thought this was very silky and I I got this for free too and I think this might I don't know if this is like a very high quality product I don't know but this is really cool I liked this a lot okay so my last find wait for a second let's hit that drum roll okay that's a crazy drum roll <laughs> I got this really cute or fuzzy warm blanket. I got this really cool blanket. I had to get this because, because I actually needed this because I didn't have anything or owned anything that is warm and high quality. And this is from Target. I assume Target stuff are really good quality. And I was just like, yeah, I really needed this. I didn't, I don't have anything where it keeps me warm at night. And this kept me hot. I actually just tried this in bed for like two nights so far. And I got this for free. Wait, can you guys see that? Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's isn't it crazy? Like, <laughs> this is a thumbnail shot that I'm doing right now. Okay, enough of the freaking thumbnail shot. It was so soft. I think the only thing that kind of bothered me was that it left like a lot of lint on my black shirt that I wear to sleep. And that was the only problem, but I, it wasn't as bad as like some other blankets. It wasn't a bad of shedding. It was just, um, it was really warm. Sometimes it got really hot in, in this. Yeah, it was just very thick, very insulated and like furry and soft. And I had to get it. And it was from Target. By the way, I didn't mention, but I came there in the morning because it was the cheapest day. It was on a Thursday and they always have their cheapest day for two dollars i go on the cheapest day in the morning because i want to make sure that i get the best stuff during the earliest time of the of the day so that people don't get the coolest stuff for cheap and i was just like i want to get cool stuff for cheap and so i try to get there as early as i can so i got some really cool stuff but this time i got it for free today i feel so blessed and I am definitely going to keep going to Amazon return store because I love seeing some cool stuff, hopefully find stuff and give them to others or maybe donate or like maybe if some of my friends or someone needs something, I'll look for something in the Amazon return store and try to, you know, give that to them. Thank you all for watching my video. Thank you for watching me be dorky. And I love you guys joining in this adventure with me. It really means a lot. And I am posting some really cool stuff on my channel. I love of thrifting but I also want to try to do other things like going to theme parks if I can but I'm gonna keep it in a niche so I keep it organized I think it's mainly gonna be like thrifting and so I'm really happy and thankful don't forget to join this adventure with me I don't like it when you guys miss out and I'll see you guys in the next one